now we will be talking about scarpa's ganglia okay and we will be talking about the connections of the vestibular system so entirely how the neuronally the vestibular system is attached so neurology of vestibular system first a few points about the scarpa's ganglion it's the main thing which connects the scarpa's ganglion are bipolar neurons so we have a distal and we have a central connection the distal is attached to the sensory epithelium of the vestibule which means what the hair cells inside the semicircular canals the hair cells inside the cupula that's inside the ampulla and the macula inside the utricle and the saccule then the central connection it goes towards the vestibular nucleus okay now the connections are pretty simple but before that you should know the vestibular nucleus is here where all are the signals coming from and what all do they need to do okay you have the vestibular nucleus the signals come from two parts that's the peripheral and the central okay when you divide that you know the aim of the vestibular system is to maintain balance so it requires a certain amount of information from your body so it gets the information from the vestibular system that's one of one part of it that's the vestibular organ sorry and then others from the spinal cord the stretch receptors the proprioceptors and all those okay and what do they need to do they need to maintain your balance how do they maintain your balance they maintain your balance by eye reflexes so that when your body is tilting and or your when your head is shaking or when your head is moving your eyes are oriented so that's what produces nystagmus on stimulation of the vestibule then they need to have some spino cerebellar reflexes then we have vestibular spinal reflexes what do vestibular spinal reflexes do the vestibule after getting the information after getting it processed it sends it to the spinal cords so as to distribute between the muscles so that they can react in an efficient way to any change in the body balance okay so we we'll look at the connection proper you have the vestibular nucleus and the signal is coming from the hair cells and from the center what's the center we have the proprioceptors we have the stretch receptors from the spinal cord from the cerebellum okay and then it goes to the vestibular nucleus now vestibular nucleus is divided into four parts we have the superior superior we have the lateral we have the medial and we have the inferior the superior and the lateral the superior and the lateral they travel via the medial lemniscus if you remember they use the lateral lemniscus in the auditory pathway so medial lemniscus to the ventro posterior nucleus which nothing but it relates to the cortex where this whole thing is analyzed the lateral medial and inferior part of the vestibular nucleus are involved with vestibulo vestibulo spinal reflexes or to vestibulo spinal reflexes aim at as i said the aim at maintaining your body balance by sending signals through your spinal cord to the necessary muscles which are supposed to react to the change in equilibrium and the inferior the inferior part only this gives vestibulo cerebellar reflexes and vestibulo ocular reflex vestibulo ocular reflex again it's divided into three parts we have the third nerve we have the fourth and we have the sixth you all know where this apply fourth goes to the trochlea sixth goes to the abducens third is the oculomotor it supplies all the rectus muscles
okay now vestibular cerebellar reflexes go to the inferior cerebral peduncle so anyway that's it that's how what's how the scarpa's ganglion is uh, some important points relating to it so it's a bipolar it has two processes where the first one and where the second one connects then we saw the various connections of the vestibular system the vestibular nucleus and how it maintains a balance so that's in brief again it's an usual lecture it's not for entrance level we'll take that up again later anyway thank you for watching please subscribe please like please comment i'll see you in my next video